All right, boys. It's Sunday night. I just finished up an insane leg session. I got a ton done today. You know, as always, I've been up since 425, and it's 8 o'clock right now, so most people are just now starting their to-do list for Sunday because they procrastinated all day. I've got like a week's worth of stuff done in one day. Um, that's what happens when you implement the 545 method. Um, anyways, I've been getting a ton of DMs of all you guys with your heart broken, sad, blaming everything on a woman, saying it's just too much for you to handle and all that stuff. And look, I get it, right? I recently broke up with the, like really the only woman I've ever loved in my life, truly loved. Um, and so like I, I've gone through it, I understand, right? And, and that's happened to me multiple other times in my life. I completely get it. But what you have to understand, right, is no one pities you, okay? No one feels bad for you. And you have to just suck it up, right? I got a DM today specifically. And bro told me all the videos I see are just like, go to the gym, work harder and get over it. And he was like, and that just doesn't seem to help because you're not going to the gym, working harder and getting over it. That does not mean it's going to cure the problem, but you should not want the problem to be cured instantaneously, right? Because if this is a season of pain, of loneliness, of loss, you are being taught something. You are lacking something. You are lacking a character trait. You are lacking something that your character needed for the person that you have to become, right? And for you to sit there and be like, this is so sad. You need to feel bad for me. I can't do anything about it. Look, bro, you can either level up and use the pain and get better, or you can sit and pity yourself and stay worse. You can stay in the position that you're in. There's literally only two ways to go about it. There's two ways to go about it. It doesn't make any sense as to why you would not want to. You're going to be sad either way. So you might as well be sad for a little bit and then start balling rather than just be sad and stay sad and remain a loser, right? You got to get that through your head. If the reason that you feel so distressed about it and it hurts so bad and it physically feels like your heart is aching is because you are a man and you have to learn to deal with that pain. Okay? You have to learn to deal with that pain. It hurts so bad and it feels impossible. That's why you're dealing with it. Because it hurts so bad. And if you as a man cannot deal with a heartbreak, how do you think you're going to make it through life? That's the reality that you gotta come face to fucking face with. If you cannot make it through a heartbreak, how are you going to make it through life? Dude, I loved this woman with my whole entire heart, okay? I would do anything for this woman, still would do anything for this woman. Out of respect, out of respect for her soul, out of respect for her character, out of respect of the things that she did for me. But I made a vow that nothing was going to come before my purpose, okay? And I was being swayed from my purpose. There were things that were distracting me from my purpose. And it was more of a mutual breakup. She ended it at the end because it, it was just, it was a constant battle because I was not going to put her over my purpose. And it hurt badly and it stung, but nothing should come before your purpose. And the reason, the reason that you're not with her anymore the reason you chose to break up with her and now you regret it or the reason she broke up with you because you're a loser is because you put her above your purpose. And a woman can sense that. She can feel it. She can smell it. It is in her biology. Okay? She will act like she wants you to make her the main thing. I'm not saying don't prioritize her. Don't make her feel valued. Don't be emotionally there for her. I'm not saying that. But do not put her as the number one. Your purpose should be your number one. Because if you put her as your number one, 
What does that make her feel like? You're not going to provide. You're not going to protect because she is your number one. She has authority over you and no woman wants to have authority over her man. It doesn't matter what she, what the mind games that she plays with you to make you think that. She's trying to see if she can conquer you and you gave in, okay? So heartbreak is going to hurt and it's going to feel bad, but you can lay in your bed and let it destroy you and rot away your soul and eat at you or you can use it and get better. There is no secret potion. It comes down to your mindset. Think about it right now. Think about the goals that you have, okay? Think about them in your head. Is there a business that you wanna start? Think about the physique that you're chasing, okay? Think about the car that you wanna drive. Think about the life that you wanna live, the places you wanna travel, the experiences you want to have, the impact you want to leave with other people right now. Think about all those things. Do you think you can achieve or accomplish any of those things if you as a man cannot deal with feeling heartbroken? Sometimes you have to love a woman and let her go. That doesn't mean you don't love her. That doesn't mean you don't care about her, but you have to let her go because she wasn't building you up. She was not benefiting you and she was keeping you from where you need to go, okay? And you gotta come face to face with that. Every single man, the biggest mistake that we make, the biggest mistake that you are making is to think that your relationship was somehow more special than every other guy that's been in a relationship and gotten broke, uh, broken up with. Every other relationship that has existed has been special, okay? And every guy felt the exact same way as you do. There's no other girl. She's the only girl that made me feel like that. That is BS. That's BS, okay? We develop connections with people through time. Same reason you develop a connection with your parents. It's physically because they have had more positive inputs into your life, so you associate them with love. The same thing with this woman. You're going to have to man up a little bit and callous your heart a little bit because that's what it takes. You have to learn how to not operate only through your emotion. That is what this is teaching you. You have to learn to be able to think through heavily, like, impactful emotions that are screwing with you, you have to learn how to still keep your vision focused, still say, stay centered during those things. And if you are not with your woman anymore, if you are sad, if you are feeling heartbroken, that is how it is supposed to be. That is how it is supposed to be. You can either man up and try and work it out with her or accept it and get better. The most loser ass, degenerate, nobody will never accomplish anything in their life type of action is no action. To be sad about it and complain and sit there and say, nothing's working, nothing's working. Of course nothing is working. Listen to yourself, listen to your internal dialogue. Listen. You're a bitch, okay? Stop it, stop it. Are you genuinely going to waste time of your life over a woman? You know how much power you're giving that woman by sitting there and womp womping and moping? You're gonna sit there and just become passive? At least be sad and get better. Instead of being sad and staying the same. Every hyper successful man, 99% of them, their success was driven from a woman in some type of circumstance. Tap into your actual self. Tap into your actual self. You are being given an obstacle that you can transcend and create 
a master out of yourself. This is when you can sculpt an ultimate physique. This is when you can sculpt a resilient mindset. You're supposed to feel lonely for a season so you can learn how to operate on your own time. You're skating on a paradigm right now that you're not supposed to be skating on. You need to shift. This next level is only going to come by you transcending this pain, transcending this obstacle. I will say it again, not because I'm being redundant, but because you need to get it through your noggin. If you can't deal with heartbreak, you need to go back seven years and restart, which you can't fucking do, so get over it, all right? You have to be able to get over feeling a little sad. Do it anyways. I don't want to wake up. I didn't want to wake up after me and my girlfriend broke up. I did it anyways. It is even worse waking up at 425 every morning and feeling lonely. I did it anyways. All right? Don't try and just go fill the void with all these random women. If you even can get any women, which if your girl broke up with you, you probably can't because you put her above your purpose and no woman wants a little DJ that does that shit. So first you gotta learn to put your focus as your main, your, your purpose as your main focus and have tunnel vision on that and craft the highest version of yourself before you even focus on anything external. But, oh man, I thought I was about to get pulled over. There was a cop. I was going like, 97. I'm walking back in. But once you have mastered that version of yourself, you have to realize that all the time obstacles are going to come to you. Every time you go through a season of pain, a season of tears, a season of loneliness, of hurt, of brokenness, it is for you to use, all right? There is something that you need to conquer. It is for you to use. Growth is only found in uncomfortable stages of life. If you're always comfortable, you will stay the person that you are and you will actually continue to get worse. Everyone thinks that paradise is found in comfort. Paradise is found through sacrifice. Paradise is found through sacrifice. Get it through your brain that no matter what you feel, extract from your emotions. Look at yourself from a third party perspective. Look at what you're doing right now. Scrolling on TikTok all day long, wasting away your soul because you're sad about a girl. Boo hoo! Suck it up! Either become man enough to work it out with her or move on, get better, level up and replace that emptiness with skills, with intelligence, with wisdom, with new character traits. Unlock your true self. There's a reason that it happened. Stop thinking that life is happening to you. Start thinking that life is happening for you because it is. Life doesn't happen to me, life happens for me. Everything that bad that happens, it's not bad, it's happening for me because I end up either learning from it or something better, a better circumstance comes out of it, right? The only way that you're going to be able to transcend a heartbreak is to eat right every single day, constantly keep your mind in a high vibrational state, right? Go to the gym, and use that pain as fuel and teach your mind that struggle and pain equates to growth. Implement daily habits that keep you focused on your vision, focused on your goal, okay? And build your mindset to be the foundation of everything I just mentioned mindset, habits, nutrition, and training. That's what we do in my community. That's what we do in my tribe. In tribe aggression, 
my school community, that's all we do is lift each other up. On our group calls and all the resource modules, when you go in and you go through the course and you listen to what I'm talking about in the presentations about your mindset, when we mastermind for two hours every single week on our group calls, we're all leveling up collectively. You need to have a tribe, okay? You need to have a tribe. And if if you cannot by yourself get over that, find someone to guide you. But you have to set a goal. You have to know where you're going. Of course you feel lost. Of course you feel hopeless without her because you made her your direction. No woman wants to follow a man with no direction. She wants to be able to follow a leader. She wants to know that you have a direction and that she can just follow your lead and she will be okay. You will protect her, you will provide for her, and she will be able to end up in a desirable place by following you because she trusts your intellect. She trusts your intuition. She trusts your instincts. But when you place your purpose in her, she has now conquered you. You're not the fucking leader. Get that through your head. There is a reason that you are heartbroken, okay? There's a reason why you are heartbroken. You have to be broken down to be built back up. And you were not there. You were getting comfortable. It's time for you to level up. This is your sign. It is time for you to level up. No more games. It's time for you to go all in, all right? This is the last time I'm gonna tell you guys. This is the last sign that you can get. It is time for you to go all in. No more holding back, all right? No more being lenient, staying comfortable. Stop playing video games. Stop eating like shit. Stop procrastinating having a training split and locking in your macros. Stop mentally masturbating to self-development videos and not implementing them. Go buy yourself a notebook. Implement your goals. Execute on your actions and your morning routine and become a better man. Become a better man. It is simply at that. The pain will stay inside of you, welling up, getting stronger, and you will feel more and more hopeless until you start to take action. It's not going away. And you can sit there, you can cry about it like a bitch, or you can do something about it. Which one are you going to choose, huh? Are you going to go and be a little girl? Are you going to continue down the path towards the becoming the man that she left? Are you going to continue being the man that isn't in a relationship with her anymore? Or are you going to become better? Which one? It's your choice. It's nobody else's choice. You are not a victim. You are not a victim. You have every single resource that you need. You have every piece of genetic code that you need. You are not where you are because of anyone else, any circumstance, anything that you were born with. You are where you are because of the decisions that you made, the choices that you made. You are responsible for yourself, no one else. Stop giving yourself excuses. Stop saying it's because of your height. Stop saying it's because of the way that you look. All right? You have just as much skill, just as much value, just as much intellect as everyone else, and you have the choice to get better. It's up to you. It is up to you. No one is coming to save you. End of the story, bro. End of the story. Stop being heartbroken and grow. There's, no, there's nothing else for you to figure out. There's nothing else for you to search for. That is it. Go through the suck. Eat it. And become better. Become the man that you were meant to be. That is all. End of story. I love you guys, all right? I want you guys to be better. I want you guys to be better. You need to join a community of other warriors. You think any of my guys in my tribe are sad because they're heartbroken? Fuck no, because they have us, right? They have us. 
as soon as they feel themselves going to that low vibrational state, boom, they go right into the school community. We start chatting. We go crazy. There's so much value in there. They're all ripped. Everyone has a resilient mindset. Okay? We're masterminding. We're together. We're unbreakable. We're unbreakable. We are aggressive. That's the end of the video. That's it. That's all I have to say. In a world full of pussies. Stay aggressive.